Pine Grove makes it very easy to inline external SVG images in order to color them so that they fit the design of the current project. So here we have an externally linked SVG image displayed with the image element. And to inline it, just right click on the image and say inline SVG image. And now the SVG code of the image is included directly into the HTML code of the page. And with that, we, when we expand the element, we can now select the sub-elements, like the paths and groups, in SVG image and use uh, two ways to color them. The first is using the properties panel and there we can select either to fill with current color or stroke with current color. And current color refers to the active CSS text color for the element. So here we will say fill and now we can use one of bootstrap um, colors defined in the project to color the element. And let's do the same here. And we will fill it with primary color. And this one we will fill with primary emphasis. And this one as well. And the scribble here is a stroke. So we will say stroke with current color. And we will select the primary color. And with this, if we now go into the design panel and we change the color palette of our project, the SVG image is colored as well. And it will always use the colors that match our color palette. And the second way to paint images is using floating tools. And this works a little bit different. So if we select if we select the element and then we select the text color, then this will stroke the element with this color. And if we select the, the background color, then this will paint the element with the selected background color. And the color is accomplished by assigning fill and stroke attributes with CSS color variables. So in this case we have bootstrap primary used as a fill and if we stroke with the text color okay this was not a good choice let's use this one then we can see stroke is using the bootstrap dark CSS variable for color. And another nice thing with uh, floating tools, if we switch into the paint mode, and uh, let's say we will pick up the green color, and now we can easily paint the SVG element by simply clicking on um, the elements that we want to paint. SVG images are great, and now with this new feature, uh, we can inline them with a single click and then easily adjust their coloring to match the design of our project.